Hey guys, it's Jonathan here and welcome to this lesson. Um, in this video, what we're going to be doing is focusing on melodies and um, stuff like that. How, how do you build a melody? How do you do this and how do you put it together? There are actually some tricks and some rules that you can use. Not rules, but some tricks. I'm going to show you how I put together a quick melody. Okay, I have Foobar open. Let me show you off a melody that was really quick to put together. Uh, well, actually, no. Let me show you a chord progression. Um, it's a pretty muddy mix that I was working on quite a while ago. But if you listen to the chord progression... You'll notice that the bass line is um, following the same same pattern as the chord progression. It's all pretty much following the lower notes of that. And um, yeah, that's that's one thing that you should know is that you can easily put together a bass line and chord progression by following each other and keeping it in key. I'll demonstrate in a minute how to do that. Um, Here's an example of non-trance, something that is a little bit more different, but it has a melody in it that um, might show you the difference between certain melodies, trance-based melodies, and more complex or more different sort of melodies. This is a new age sort of melody. As a project that I'm working on for a movie, so it's actually it's not it's got nothing to do with trance, um, and of course that would never fit into a trance track. That sort of melody it just does not work. But if I go back here, okay, if I go back into Fubar here, um, as you can see here, we have a chord progression and some notes. And um, I'm going to play this back, the more complex version back in Fubar, um, to demonstrate a chord progression and a melody. And I'll show you how that's put together. Okay, ignore the FX kick and the bad build up and whatever. That was this was created for you guys, this example and this um track and melody. Okay. So anyway, um let's start off how we put this together. First of all, I built my chord progression, which is this. Whoops. That is a great progression to use, um, very often used, um, but it still can have its little uh, qualities and effects. Um, yeah, that's a great, great progression. Anyway, now let's have a look at the notes here. And actually we have ghosting on. Um, just to remind you how to get ghosting and what it does. If you go click on the arrow and you go to help us, um, Ghost Channels, which is Alt-V there, 
what that does is it enables you to see on the same same pattern um, other notes in other instruments so here we have our melody which is ghosted out because we have our chord progression selected and we select our melody below that we have our chord progression but we can't touch it or move it we can play with our melody so let's have a look at the chord progression we're going to push control control a to select all then control up arrow to move it up um two octaves okay let us select our melody now so we can see more clearly what do we have here oops right following our chord progression and have a little bit of a change there and here Back to following our chord progression here. Remember that keeping in with the chord progression is basically keeping in the same same notes that are used. So we could move this up there. And I'll show you an example. It would sound a bit odd because it wasn't what I planned. But it will not sound out of tune. Sorry. Okay, as you can see there, move these down. Okay, so it didn't sound out of tune because it's keeping within the chord progression and keeping in key. Um, and um, we see a familiar, familiar pattern here and once again when we move up we're dun, dun, dun. we're making a transition from you see how we're following the chord progression with our melody that's the lower part of our melody and um, just to make it clear I'm going to select um, everything red and delete it, but I'm going to control copy it just to show you control C and then delete key. That is the lower part of our um, melody. Is what don't I like about this? Um, it's just, these notes should be moved unless you want that effect, that sound. But um, for me, they're just look here. Okay, let me just listen to this part. Okay, and um, what I'm going to do here is Control V. That is our actual melody. I mean, basically, the lower part is actually kind of a bit of a bass line, just a bit um, to give more flavour to the melody. But it is part of the melody anyway, because it's uh, following the. It's kind of creating the sound of our melody because uh, it's hard to. I don't know. It's just it's just the way it works. It will sound bland if you take off that lower part righto so that's basically all I wanted to show you is how to understand that well just basically understanding that a melody follows um, a lot of the notes that are in the chord progression and you know that's a trick that you can use to you know start building your melodies uh, what I did here is I started to build the lower notes here once that was down and I had a sound that I liked I then started to build 
a little bit more and add a little bit as we go um, to the higher notes and that's how it comes together for me and it's a pretty pretty easy process you don't have to think up a melody in your head you don't have to plan it you just play around with it that's that's a, that's a brilliant way to get melodies it takes a while but um, it is a really unique way to get melodies down